I want to draw your attention for just a few minutes. If you want to walk over to where the uh, pottery booth is, it's along the far wall. They have a, uh, uh, Winston has a pot in the uh, kennel right now that's being fired up. And if you want to see this, this is really extraordinary how this, how this actually happens. It gets up to 1,200 degrees, and then he'll pull the, uh, the clay pot out, and then he'll do his design. So watch him how he designs using horse hair and uh, wood shavings. This is fantastic to watch. Once he's done, then we'll open up the, uh, the buffet line as soon as he's done. I'm Winston Tyler, and I'm a potter, ceramic artist. I like to be called a ceramic artist. I think that's a better description. Make, making things on the potter's wheel is just a fun thing to do. And most, most of my work begins as a vessel on the wheel. And then, actually, by the time I... My, I usually make tops. I love making tops for them that are very sculptural. And so I view them uh, more like sculpture than, than uh, pottery, although there, there is a pot that is part of that. Raku is a Japanese word and it means enjoyment. A quick firing uh, technique that was started in Japan several hundred years ago. The use of uh, uh, the tea rooms and the Zen tea ceremonies and the, they made the little teacups and the teaware. Imperfection was uh, revered, it was uh, considered part of the uh, process. And I think still anyone that does Raku firing, uh, even with all that we've added to it in, in, in the United States, uh, still that uh, spontaneity and never knowing exactly what uh, the result is going to be. I think that's true in all kinds of, all types of pottery, but especially Raku, because you just cannot have total control. I think I'm going to add just a little bit of water to it. Oh, that's cold. This is a, a slip, and uh, I'm going to dip the pot in it and then put it right in the kiln. Light the kiln and uh, heat it to about 1400 degrees and then pull, pull the pot out. The slip will dry on the surface of the pot and crack. crack. It'll have crackles all over it. And then I put it in the straw, burn, and then when I put the lid on it, it will smoke. And the smoke will drive into the cracks in the slip and, and uh, produce a pattern uh, of cracks and on a white background, and black cracks. Clean it a little better than that, but that's basically 
basically here. I've been teaching at the River Valley Arts Center for 23 years. I felt like I was, um, I was called here almost because um, I had a show booked and did the show and at the reception for the exhibit, this, the then director, the, not the same person, uh, was asking me questions about pottery studios and how to set them up and gas kilns and things. And uh, it was obvious uh, she had some equipment she didn't know anything about. And, uh, so we went down and looked uh, in the building to look at uh, this kiln and some uh, clay mixer. And I recognized it as being Rosemary Fisher's. And I said, I've fired this kiln many times <laughs> and uh, used this clay mixer and stuff. Where did you get it? And she told me. So um, on the way home, I was asking my wife about, I said, they're going to hire somebody to run this program uh, soon and uh, I would like to do it. And uh, what would you think about moving to Russellville? And she said, oh, in a New York minute, if I could get a job, you know. She was a, she's a school teacher, and so um, it happened in like three months. And, but all the circumstances just fell into place like they were meant to be. Dust has caked on our surfaces We've forgotten our song Follow me through these winding roads There is no time at all In a tunnel of change in leaves I hear a melody the breezes singing 